Knockoff products, those that copy or imitate the physical appearance of other products but which do not copy the brand name or logo of a trademark. These things are everywhere. Everywhere you go, every Kroger, every store you ever enter, you are going to find at least one off-brand or knockoff product. And so today I just wanted to find the weirdest and most unusual knockoff brands ever and, and just kind of poke fun at their names and, and their efforts to confuse the consumer into buying their product. Because again, there are a lot out there, and some some go a weird direction with their names in order to get people to buy it. Going on Google Images and just looking up knockoff products, you get obviously some really good results. You got the Arm and Hatchet baking soda instead of the Arm and Hammer. You know, just in case a hatchet fits you better than a hammer. Instead of the I can't believe it's not butter, you got the could it be butter? It could, but it's not. And then you got the unbelievable it's not butter. Oh my gosh, there's so many. You'd butter believe it. What? Not butter. I totally thought it was butter. <laughs> Is there a lot of money in making, I can't believe it's not butter <laughs> knockoffs? Funty, cola, sprunty. <laughs> and then you got crust instead of crest. I, I would not want to put crust on my teeth. They really should change the name. I don't know, maybe go for like, Crist? That sounds better, because it's closer to like, Crystal? But Crust, why? No one wants to put Crust on their teeth. What are you thinking? Instead of a Sharpie, you got a Skirpal. <laughs> I love my Skirpal. <laughs> you got who's left? Game, the game of deduction. You got some cream betweens, honestly. Might be a little nicer of a name than Oreo. Shows off what it is in the title. Have a break. Have a cat cot. I really love their slogan for this. It's just, it's so simple, it's so perfect. How could Kit Kat ever not think of this? It's perfect. And you got the straight up nutters. Pretty enticing. No, it's not counterfeit tambourine. I love my tambourines, my favorite candy. Okay, so they might have funny names and they might have weird advertising for them, but how do they actually taste? How, how do these products actually hold up against their true counterpart? So I found an article saying, we tested seven name brand cereals against their generic version. Here's what we found. I mean, I have heard people actually like the off-brand version, more than the normal version, just because it has a different taste. Okay, so first up we got Fruit Loops versus Far Out Fruities. Kellogg's Fruit Loops were vibrant, almost jewel-toned, and gave off a strong fruity scent, whereas the Far Out Fruities coloring and scent were significantly more subdued. Hmm. With a lighter flavor, Far Out Fruities beat out Fruit Loops more intense sugary taste. Would you look at that? I mean, that kind of makes sense. All they did was just put in less sugar probably, and then just bam, they won. Oh, this is literally Frosted Flakes versus Frosted Flakes. Oh, I'm sorry, great value Frosted Flakes. While Kellogg's and Walmart's Frosted Corn Flakes have a fairly similar appearance, their textures and flavors didn't match up. We preferred the Kellogg's crispier and fresher tasting flakes to the Walmart's harder, denser ones. Man, I feel like we're getting really into the connoisseur of cereals, but I guess that's the difference. Okay, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch versus the Walmart's great value, Cinnamon Crunch. What is up with Walmart? <laughs> now, I'm a huge fan of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, okay? That's what I ate this morning. So I know what I'm talking about when I know my Cinnamon Toast Crunch, okay? This great value Cinnamon Crunch? Mm, not even gonna be a chance. This matchup had a seeing and tasting double. Other than General Mills more defined cinnamon swirls, these cereals were matched in their strong cinnamon sugar taste and crisp crunch. Are you saying that people could just replicate what Cinnamon Toast Crunch tastes like? Fine. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, no, it's not special. Guess I'll get great value. Mark my word, I'm gonna buy this one day, and I'm gonna make a video on it, and I'm going to really see for myself what is better. Great value 
or General Mills. And clearly, Taste of Home here does not have taste buds to truly understand the purity of what Cinnamon Toast Crunch gives you. General Mills Honey Nut Cheerios versus Walmart's Great Value Honey Nut O's. I just realized that every single great value box has the same size circle on every single box. It's the same white circle. It's the same white circle. Does that save them money somehow? This one bothers me the most. It is so bad and, and so unfitting with the rest of the box. Everything else is kind of acceptable. Like, look how much they're using of this of this white box. But what is this? You're like, there's a, so much white space. Whatever, whatever. Same thing with the Honey Nut Cheerios versus everything else. The difference really comes to what your preference is and how sugary you want your meal to be. They don't taste terrible, but that's because they're just, you know, they're Walmart. There's a lot of other off-brand products that you literally cannot trust but because these are generic cereal brands, then they're pretty safe. I would not trust, could it be butter? Because if the manufacturer itself is unsure if it's actually butter or not, you got a little bit of a problem. Moving away from food, you also got, obviously, toys, which can get really, really messed up. Space Boys 3. Come on, like, do you think anybody's going to buy that? Oh god, do people buy this? Yeah, actually I think the sad part is that people actually buy this and that's why they make it in the first place. Special man! He's a special man. <laughs> what is up with these Toy Story knockoffs? Toy Special 3! He just injected something into his system. I mean, really. Bear of the interest? The bear of interest is the ultimate reminder that universal entropy is unstoppable and all of that we hold dear will eventually be destroyed. The sense of right alliance? They just have Shrek in there! Astronokio. Did they just make him neon without a nose? And just call it a day. That's literally what they did. Oh no. Okay, I could forgive this if someone just made this at home. I think I could forgive it if it's just one. But if they made a ton of these, what have you done? MC Astral Land? His eyes! His eyes. His eyes are gone. His eyes are literally gone. They've literally plucked his eyes out of there and put it on his headlights? Possibly? That is the worst toy. I have ever seen. All right, I could keep going on forever with all of these. There are so many terrible ones. And I honestly don't understand how they even just profit off that. How could anybody buy something so bad? But whatever, just next time you're at the store, really pay attention to the actual name of the brand because it could be like one letter off and it could be a completely different product from a completely different company. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. Hope you did enjoy. Hope you learned about the horrors of the off-brand world and why you should stay away from it at all costs. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, then hit that subscribe button and also that like button down below. Comment down below with what you want me to do next. Also, comment down below, have you ever bought an off-brand product and did you like it? Was it actually a good product i'd like to know because chances are it probably wasn't so anyways guys that's gonna be the end of this video and i'll see you in the next one goodbye